Today we are discussing algebraic expressions and uh, the very beginning of it. We know from lower grades how distributive property works with numbers. For example, if we have to calculate this we might we might first perform the addition in parentheses and it's obviously 10 and then multiply it uh, by 2 but the distributive property sometimes it's necessary to as we say open the parentheses to use this distribu distributive property to open the parentheses and to get to numbers uh, and the secret or i don't know the basic skill in opening parentheses and applying distributive property is to multiply 2 by anything and everything in uh, parentheses inside the parentheses uh, because if, if I get something we, we don't get the right result so we have to multiply 2 by 7 it is 2 by 7 and then to add to the result the product of 2 by 3 2 by 7 is 14, 2 by 3 is 6, so all in all it's again 20, as it was calculated mentally before. But the significance of this is that when our objects inside parentheses are not always numbers, it gives us an important tool, and actually it is the only tool to deal with such expressions. Uh, when we have a mixture of numbers and uh, variables, letters, so to speak, which gives us uh, algebraic expressions, then uh, we have to do this. Another thing, for example, I'll deviate a little. Uh, we have to multiply 15 by 14. To do this, to do this mentally, it's much easier to use the distributive property like this. I rewrite 14 as a sum of 10 and 4, then I distribute uh, 15 multiplied by 10, it's easily, can do it on the fly. It is uh, 150. And then it's easy to multiply 15 by 4 it's 60, I know that it's 60, oh, and this is of course obviously not, this is obviously a plus sign. And then we perform uh, addition, and actually it could be even done in this way. 150 plus 50 plus 10. I again divide 60 into the sum of 2. Uh, Adams, it's 50 and 10, and then it is obvious that it's 210. So, uh, distributive property gives you another tool to calculate faster, to evaluate faster. Anyway, as it is shown in this picture, distributive property is necessary when we deal with such objects as letters as well as variables as well as numbers and in this case 4 should be 4 should be multiplied uh, by both uh, both uh, values written inside parentheses and we get 4x plus 12 let us do um, the exercises from here. First, we have to open the parentheses. I keep negative 8m. 
and then I have to multiply 7 and namely not 7, not just 7, but negative 7 by everything inside the parentheses. Negative 7 multiplied by 4 gives me negative 28 and I don't forget about m, negative 28m. And negative 7 multiplied by 5 is negative again 35. And then I combine and gather together like terms. In this case it's m. I have to calculate how many m's there are. And uh, to do that I have to add negative 8 to negative 28. I get negative uh, 36, negative 36, don't forget about m, and minus 35. That's it, that's the answer, we can't do anything else. Well, in number two, it's a little bit easier, we just have to distribute. Uh, of course, you don't always draw those those arrows is just for your convenience right now for, for the time being but later I'll drop it. So 9 by negative 6 is negative 54 we don't forget about x and 9 uh, multiplied by negative 2 is negative 18. That is it. Here there is no distribution at all but we have to combine like terms we have this and we have this. Negative 5 plus negative 2 gives me negative 7f. And negative 6 plus positive 8 gives me positive 2. Here in number 4 I have to just combine. Uh, by the way, when the expressions are look quite bulky, you can underline like I do. The like terms not to forget about them sometimes it uh, helps us avoid mistakes uh, so negative uh, positive 9 plus negative 2 gives us 7 positive 7 so we get here 4 plus 7k here we have to distribute we have to not forget about the sign, negative 5 multiplied by negative 8, it's positive 14. And negative 5 multiplied by negative 4, it's positive 20. And it's F. And 6 we have to distribute and then to simplify. On, at first we keep negative 7, then a positive 5 multiplied by uh, positive 4 is 20, and positive 5 multiplied by negative 8 is negative 14. Don't forget about R. And the last step, the last step combining the like terms. Uh, negative 7 plus positive 20 gives me positive 13. And I don't have to write the sign when it's positive. In number 7 we don't have to distribute anything, but we have like terms. Here positive 5 uh, plus negative 9 gives me negative 4 and I don't have to forget about C, mustn't forget about C. And positive 6 and positive 7 give me together positive 13. Here I don't have to dist distribute anything, just combine the like terms. Positive 4 plus negative 1 gives me positive 3. That's 3q. In here, same, just 7 positive 7 plus positive 1 is 8q. And here again the last problem, I just combine the like terms and 6 plus 2 is 8, don't forget about n, a n minus
minus 4. That's it. Uh, for the time being, uh, all that was generated by a uh, beautiful online tool at mathseeds.com. Uh, I'm grateful to you guys. Thank you very much. And I'm also grateful to everybody who was watching and hope to see you in the future.